And back to our story on Vuwani now. Our reporter Belani Pakhadi has been following the story and he joins us live. Now, Belani, a very good afternoon to you. Do tell us more about who is part of this interministerial uh, meeting. Well, thank you very much, Alicia. Um, as you can see now, we are in Toyando. Uh, we were in the stage right behind me, the the the, the, the King uh, 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 Mpepu stage, which uh, which signifies uh, mostly of the Bavenda Kingdom here. In the interministerial task task team, which is here, basically, um, we, the, those we have seen is that we have seen the, the the Minister of Safety in the in the in the country, uh, Minister Mahlobo was here, the, the MEC in the province for, for responsible for, for, for COXTA, uh, MEC uh, Makoma Makurupeje. Um, the education department as well, uh, both locally and in, 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 uh, nationally, uh, um, Mr. Uh, uh, Eli um, Elijah, uh, he was, he, he's, he's also here at the MEC, and also uh, that Des Van Roy and the Minister for, for COCTA is here. They've been, they've been meeting behind, behind closed doors uh, lately. At, as we speak at, at the moment, they are uh, in, a, in, in a closed session where they are basically briefing one another about, uh, about the whole scenario, where they've been, how they've been talking to, 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 to different tribal leaders and basically um, trying, try, trying to um, actions which were just being made to try to to, to calm the, the the area. So right now uh, uh, we are just waiting basically for to hear from them at about five o'clock this evening, where they'll be briefing the media on what basically uh, um, do they have to tell the country uh, ha will will calm be restored in the country within the next few days. Look, Pelani, we hear that uh, some sort of relevant calm has returned in the area, but do tell us how is the situation on the ground? Any more protests? any sporadic acts of uh, vandalism? No, we have been uh, around Vuan. Yeah, there hasn't been any uh, uh, um, um, spots of vandalism which we, we, we managed uh, we managed to spot. Uh, we we also went around the, uh, the the Vuani main street, which leads past to their complex. Um, it still remains barricaded and still remains at a shutdown. But there there hasn't been any major uh, incidents which which were reported. The police remain uh, heavily in the area as well. Um, they almost in every corner they are they are situated there and mainly. Um, again, in, in Mashau, uh, where, where, where a lot of schools were banned, um, there hasn't been anything which was reported. But uh, I, again, I say the police have uh, uh, retained their high visibility in the area. Mm, Balani, very quickly before I let you go, I mean, the MEC earlier said that uh, they were looking and hoping uh, to make sure that uh, the children go back to school immediately or soon. How are things progressing in that front? I mean, we heard a suggestion around the mobile classrooms. How is that fed with the community? Um, we haven't really had a, a chance to talk, to talk to the community, but uh, what we have managed to get from uh, Ngimo Tsekha, the basic minister, uh, um, the, the basic education minister, say, she said that um, um, having talked to most of, of the stakeholders, they believe that uh, school will, will, will resume on Monday. Um, they also believe that having, having made necessary arrangements to, to check on what is, is it that is needed to, for, to make school to continue on Monday, uh, um, and then make it available. So they also say that um, um, they, they believe that having to uh, store uh, having to, to have restored calm in the area and also having having peace in the area will make sure that will make their job uh, as education to be more, more more easier so they believe that this particular uh, uh, um, restoring of, of and resuming of classes will only uh, uh, be be effective if it's, uh, calm is restored in the area and they are hoping that the interministerial task team will bring that and then schools to continue Thank you so much. We'll definitely be checking up with our reporter there, Belani Pakadi, who is in Vuwani. And of course, we are hoping for the outcomes of that interministerial task team. They should be briefing the media, as we've heard, at around 5 o'clock this afternoon.